Okay, hello. I'm going to be um, showing you how to start a lanyard with GIMP. And what you need is um, a pen, two pieces of GIMP, and um, same size, and the scissors if you're starting. Or if you're about to make the GIMP. I'll give you some time if you're not, um, you don't have the GIMP with you already. So, I'll give you two minutes. Make sure it's lined up so that's even. All right. If you're not done, you can pause it, but um, I'm gonna start getting so what I'm gonna do with my pen is that I'm gonna use it to, you know, hold my loops. But first, find your center, the center of the green one, or whatever color, and um, and it should be kind of like a little loop, like that. And then put it on your finger or pen. Should look like that. I'll give you some time to figure that out. All right. Um, like I said, if you're falling behind, you can pause it or rewind. So then I'm gonna take the pink and I'm gonna put run it um through the two loops. Till you find its center. It should look like that. Give you a few minutes to find its center. And just a tip that you don't have to use these exact colors. Use whatever whatever colors you like. Okay. Give you one, two. Um. Okay, I'm gonna start. You know, adding. So then you're going to take this one, the one that's facing here, or the, your, the end of your finger. Hold on. Okay, so the one that's um, at the end of your finger, and you're going to put it over and through. Some time to do that. Okay, I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to put it over and through the green. Give you some time to do that. <laughs> mm, okay. So the next step is you know, you need to be careful. So you're going to slowly 
gently take remove the piece and I'm gonna pull the green to the side like this and you can kind of see it forming maybe a little and pull the pink It might take a while to, you know, okay. okay, you have the starting of your um, lanyard, and it will look like this. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a lanyard, just because you don't, I'm just going to use a different one because, you know, so here is um, the one that I just started, um, you know, today. So I, um, it's really easy. I, I'm using, I've done a lot of these. Um, I'll be right back really quickly. Sorry to hold you up. I've done a lot of these. Um, I have a whole bowl of them. <coughs> and um, I'll grab some of them out. This is just another one. Just I've done a lot of showing how to do it. It's just in case. So... This is my first one, it's yellow and green. This is my second one. I put it on a ring, I, cause I kinda don't wanna, I don't know how to end it, but. So second, and it's, since you can't really see it, it's like neon orange and neon pink. This is my third one that I've made, and um, this is like blue and green. And uh, I've this one I've used for YouTube, and this is red and pink. You probably remember this one if you watched my video. Okay, and you might remember the Chinese staircase starts. Tiny staircase um, with um, blue and red and white. Okay. So I'm um, doing this one. Okay. So I'm going to take the orange one and I'm going to put it over. like that to make loops it should look like this okay. and um, if you get confused with this at all you can pause it then I'm going to take the yellow and put it over and through it should look like that if it gets twisted, you should um, fix it. I'm trying not to get it twisted. Because, you know, it's on YouTube. And... So then you're going to pull it all the way through, like that. It should look like that. If you don't have what it looks like, or you just... If you have different colors, it's going to look different, just because of the colors, okay? So, I'm going to do it one more time, and so you get used to it. And if you still don't get it, you can um, watch this video again, or watch a different video. I'm okay with both. 
The black marks, don't worry about them. It's just because of when I was, um, you know, starting it, I marked my middle. So I'm gonna, you don't have to do it in pattern. I'm not going to do it in pattern. I'm just going to keep doing it with orange. You don't have to complete it all at one time, but when you're taking a break from it, you should pull the last stitch that you're doing for the time tightly so it doesn't, you know, fall apart. I take mine to places just so... Um, I twisted mine. Sorry. <laughs> Man, how does it become twisted? Okay, then I'm going to pull it. Should look like that. And thank you for watching. Um, I hope this helped you a little. And, um, thank you. <laughs>